the inner solar system consists of the inner planets Mercury, Venus, Earth and Mars that extend up to 1.5 astronomical units and the asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter that extends to 3.5 astronomical units and contains the protoplanet Vesta. Ceres, the dwarf planet that NASA's Dawn mission is approaching, lies here. The outer solar system contains the outer planets, the gas giants Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus and Neptune and Centaurs, small bodies whose orbits lie within Neptune but beyond Jupiter. The trans-Neptunian region is home to many mysteries. It houses the Kuiper Belt which consists of icy rocks at 30 to 50 astronomical units. This region contains up to 100,000 objects, many of which could eventually prove to be dwarf planets like Pluto is today. Pluto itself orbits at 39 astronomical units. Two other dwarf planets, Haumea and make make orbit immediately after. The scattered disk, a region of icy rocks where most comets originate from, begins at approximately 40 AU and extends up to 150 AU. The last confirmed dwarf planet, Eris, orbits in this region at 68 astronomical units. The region beyond this is largely unmapped. Much of this territory is uncharted, even though we have discovered objects here. The most famous one is Sedna, a possible dwarf planet that orbits at 76 astronomical units at its closest approach and 940 AU at its farthest. This region contains detached objects and sednoids. The former is called so because their orbits are not influenced by Neptune's gravity or in other words are detached from the orbit of Neptune and other gas giants. The hypothesized Oort cloud exists in this region, giving rise to many comets and bodies that have migrated from here to the Kuiper belt. This region consists of at least a trillion objects. But the Oort cloud's existence has not been verified as the hypothesized structure. However, some consider the far edge Oort cloud to be the edge of the solar system because the majority of the mass of the solar system is within it. But the boundary between the solar system and interstellar space is actually thought to be within its inner reaches, the heliopause. This is generally accepted as the solar system's boundary because the solar wind's strength here is no longer great enough to push back the interstellar medium. Thank you for watching and please subscribe because more interesting videos are coming.